Columbia police have a 17 year old behind bars in the murder of a young man on the night shift at a local Papa John's, but the search is on for others who may have also been involved in the robbery. Andrea Klein Thomas is live now at the Columbia Police Department where we're learning more this morning. Andrea. Oh, Vicki, that press conference just ended moments ago, and we learned that there has been another arrest in the case. Let's recap what we have so far, though. Last night, police arrested 17-year-old Darius Fitzpatrick and charged him in the murder of the Gordon Schaefer, who was murdered in that Papa John's. Darius Fitzpatrick is also connected to two armed robberies of two Dollar General stores. Now, today, we learned that 18-year-old Rodney Harville is now charged in the Dollar General robbery that happened on Bear Creek Pike on October 17th. He is not charged in this murder yet, and police say they are still looking for more suspects. Both of those um, teenagers were brought in for questioning. Both had extensive histories with the juvenile justice system, and that's what police say was part of the problem. They say that if this case shows anything is that we really need to review how juveniles are sentenced here now from D.A. Brent Cooper. And because he is a juvenile, even if he is transferred to adult court, which Brent Cooper said he is putting in a motion to do, is transfer Darius Fitzpatrick to adult court. He is not going to be eligible for the death penalty. He could, though, be eligible for life without parole. But this is just the beginning of a long process. Again, police are looking for more suspects out there. They commended the community for Pouring, coming in with tips, giving them a number of tips, and they said those tips have led to these arrests. Again, they're looking for more people. Today, we also heard from Gordon's family, who just described what a great guy he was and just their sadness. They say that this, again, should show um, those who are, you know, working in the fast food industry, just how, what their staffing needs to be in the evening, and just, again, reviewing the judicial system about you know, how sentencing should happen. We'll hear more from her later on, but I do want to let you know about um, two funds that are being set up. There's a GoFundMe page for Gordon Schaefer. It's a Gordon Schaefer Memorial Fund, and also you can donate to First Tennessee Banks all across the state. That's the latest here. We're going to keep you abreast of all of the updates on air and online. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Andrea Klein Thomas, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Andrea. The search continues this morning for a missing boater on Percy Priest Lake. Family members reported 49-year-old Troy Stafford missing around 9 last night. Rescuers say the last family members heard from him was a text message Wednesday afternoon while he was fishing. His bass boat was recovered around 2 this morning, but no sign of Stafford. The Office of Emergency Management will be leading the search today. Another jumper made it over the fence and onto the White House lawn while the president was home. This time, Secret Service agents and their dogs quickly apprehended the suspect. The accused jumper, a 23-year-old Maryland man, is being held in custody for outstanding warrants. The incident comes about a month after another man jumped the fence, made it into the mansion before being captured inside the East Room and other people on the grounds not authorized earlier in the year.